Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 11 in the PHP programming series and in this video we will look at the comparison operators. So we're going to use variables and if statements that we've covered in previous tutorials. So if you don't know what a variable or if statement is, you need to go back and watch them first. Okay, so we can begin. We're going to make our PHP file and you know, as always, we'll make our starting and ending tags. We'll save this as compare.php and we're going to use comparison operators. Now comparison operators are a way for you to compare things numerically or you can also compare strings with some operators and it will basically allow you to just make a decision based on the value of something. So we're going to declare two numbers. We're going to do num1 and that's going to equal 10. That's, sorry, 10 and num2, we'll just put this num1, num2 is going to equal 20. Okay, so now we're going to make if statements, we're going to say if num1, oops, if num1 equals equals to 10, and you know how we do if statements, we'll have our curly brackets, we're going to echo number is 10, okay? And I'll just use single quotes actually, it's quite a habit using double quotes because I have other languages, but we'll save compare.php and it'll say number is 10. And you may not know it already, but you've already used a comparison operator and that is the equals equals. Now the equals equals comparison operator, it, it compares this with this and it says if it's equal to, so like deadly equal to and 10 is equal to 10 obviously but what if we wanted to test if num1 was greater than 10 we can use if num1 is greater than 10 and we'll also embed an else statement into here so we're going to say if num1 is greater than 10 then number is greater than 10 and then we'll have an else statement and say echo number is not greater than 10 and we'll close that so we'll save it and there's a parse error let me see what I've done wrong and it is on line 9 um, there we go I've missed out the semicolons I'm sorry I'm really tired right now I woke up not long ago so if I save that my mistake and it'll say number 1 is not greater than 10. That's because number 10, it is 10. So we go through this, number 10, num1 is 10. And it says if, and the condition is, if num1 is greater than 10, and num10 is not greater than 10, so it's going to skip this and go to the else. So let's look at some other comparison operators. We also have the less than. So we can, actually first I'm just going to show you, we'll just use two variables here to make it more interesting. So we'll just change this to num2. So if num1, 10, is greater than num2, number 1 is greater than number 2. And then here, if number 1 is not greater than number 2, number 2 is greater than number 1. So we can just refresh this. And number 2 is not greater than number 1. So let's look at some other comparison operators. Um, if we, we can have the less than operator, so if num1 is less than number 2, and we'll have our curly brackets, echo number 1 is less than number 2, and we'll save that. And the condition is true because number 1 is less than number 2. And another one that we can do is greater than or equal to. So we'll we'll test this out with an actual number. So we're going to do if num1 is greater than or equal to. So we do this by doing a greater than sign and then an equal right after it. If num1 is greater or equal to than 10, then we are going to execute this code that code number1 is greater or equal to 10. And I keep doing the double quotes, sorry I'll stick with single quotes from now on. We'll refresh, number 1 is greater than or equal to 10. 
and we, it also works the same way with less than or equal to, you just exchange that with a less than or equal to and it works the same way. Now what we're going to look at now, the final comparison operator is not equal to so all you do for that is you know that if we want to compare something we'll say if um, and we'll change number 2 to 10 we'll say if and we'll have our brackets if number 1 and double equals and num2 then we're going to output this, we're going to echo um, they are equal and we'll save that, just see if it works they are equal as they are both 10 but the way to say if something is not equal to is to use an exclamation mark and that will say if it is not equal to so this exclamation mark pretty much means not so if it's not equal to number two then it's not it's gonna output they are not equal so refresh that and that is not outputting anything because they are they're equal so this condition is false so we change this to 11 and save it and you'll see they are not equal don't know why Chrome keeps doing that but that was the tutorial on comparison operators so to summarize I'll just comment them here um, to check if something is equal to something, we use the double equals. So that will say if th something is equal. Um, if you want to check if something is greater than, we'll use the shift and then full stop to see if it's greater than. And to check if something is less than, it's less than. And then greater than equals to is that. And you guessed it, less than equals to is a less than than equals to. And then finally the one the last one we learned is not equal to, which is exclamation mark and equals. So you can use these in if statements to for conditions to make them a lot more flexible. So you don't have to do multiple if statements to find one thing. And yeah, that is the I'm not sure this is close that. That is the end of the tutorial. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Also like the video and subscribe to the channel and please watch the next video.